Peggy 18. I don't know the dead man. Probably didn't deserve what he got. Doesn't make him special, though. All kinds of people die out here. The innocent and the not-so-innocent. If I'm lucky, he hasn't noticed me yet. I want to warn him. I want to tell him to run, to hide, to get out of sight so I won't have to kill him. That's what I want to say. What actually comes out of my mouth is... I HAVE THE SHINIEST MEAT BICYCLE! Close enough. This is me. I'm ready for a spine tingler! Yeah, great. Hey, remember back when we were sane? She can taste the bloody hatred! Guess not. Still can't hear me, can you? Little voice in your head trying to remind you of a time when we could go hours, days even, without screaming about our desire to ride bicycles made of meat. I don't even remember. Oh god, she's armed with a Molly Juan SMG. She's a vault hunter. She's a siren warrior who could kill me with her brain. What the hell? Is that a psycho? She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Tell her she's as gorgeous as a thousand sunsets. Tell her you need her help. Tell her to rescue you and care for you. And whatever you do, do not scream the word poop at the top of your lungs. I'm the conductor of the poop train! It's over, idiot. You're gonna die here and now, and the last words out of your mouth will have been poop train. Oh, great. Now the rats are arriving. Turn around, Siren. Turn around or you're dead. Tell her to look back, now. Strip the flash! No, listen to me. Salt the wound! Yeah, great. We'll salt all the wounds later. But right now, if you don't listen to me, she's gonna die, and it's gonna be your fault. Turn around, pretty lady! Now tell her thank you. Tell her that because of her, we might actually one day be able to act like a normal person again. I powdered my cockatiel for the ribcage slaughter. Huh. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs>